from the graveside of one of the most illustrious sons of Mother Africa, Dr. Edward William Burkhart Du Bois, who a couple of days ago was with us in flesh, but today is no more, now with us in spirit. The Department of Special Collections of UMass Amherst is home to the papers of W.E.B. Du Bois. We're also stewards of his legacy. Trying to live up to that legacy, one of the things we do is to collect materials that reflect Du Bois' interpretation of the world around him. He's a great intellectual and a great activist. One of the things that Du Bois brought to the field in everything he did was an understanding of the interrelationship between all of the various struggles of social justice. He understood that racial justice was tied up with economic justice. Economic justice was tied into environmental justice. When we collect, we collect in that same way. We look at movements like the anti-nuclear movement as it relates to, to intentional communities. We look at intentional communities as they relate to sustainability and organic agriculture. We look at all of those as they relate to the labor movement, to disability rights, to gay rights, to all these other movements where individuals band together to change the world around them for the better. We look at ways that people come together socially, economically, and politically to affect real social change, to end up with real social justice. Redress is sought in the streets, in demonstration, parade, and protest, which create tension, threaten violence, threaten lives. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. I think the way we collect leads to an understanding of the way people find motivation in their lives to change the world around them. We see connections that draw people together in unique and unusual ways sometimes. People live their lives understanding that the relationship between peace and environment is really a social relationship as much as anything else. It's not just science, it's not just movement, it's life itself. And there is no such thing as a single-issue activist as a result. <laughs>